morning. Good morning. Sunday, April 5th. This is Nancy Smith and Nancy of Angelscapes and I'm here to give you some more kitchen counter wisdom. And so welcome. <clears throat> I have a deep, uh, I haven't spoken much this morning. There's not a lot of people around me so I've been not, I should have talked to myself for a while before I got on Facebook Live. What I wanted to talk to you today um, is a little um, history, a little bit of history lesson. And um, some later on, if you guys uh, come in, I may pull some cards for people. Uh, I, yesterday was um, just a little you know, commercial thing here. It's yesterday I had a beautiful online psychic fair, holistic fair. I gave a lot of readings to a lot of people. I have a group, beautiful group of very talented um, readers and intuitives who came together. And when I went to bed last night, really pooped, woke up this morning, and there were a couple of people handful of people who wanted to continue on today um, because those readings were very helpful and they felt they missed their turn on Saturday. So I am opening up this afternoon to do more readings. They're 15 minute increments. So you could buy 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Um, and it's $25 for a 15 minute increment. And I also am having a wonderful, uh, those are intuitive readings, uh, Akashic readings. And then I also have a special offer for a 45 minute mediumship reading with a drawing uh, for, for $100, which is an amazing, amazing discount. So if you're interested in continuing this holistic event, private message me here. It's the easiest way to do it because my technology is just went into the drink yesterday and give me a time slot that you, a couple of them that you'd be interested in. I will end your email and I will get you into my calendar and when we can get you guys going. A lot of amazing work happened yesterday uh, with the different um, people I read for, um, coming to terms with what's happening right now, as well as what their role and what they need to do um, during their sequestering time. And um, that's the thing, very helpful, and I'd like to be helpful to people. That's why this beautiful holistic event has happened. Um, I also wanna say to you that I am, I've posted a couple of things on my Facebook, Nancy Smith Facebook page, about masks. And after doing some reading, um, as, best, as best as I could, there's a lot of stuff to read out there and sort through. I'm an advocate for masks. I, a friend of mine made me a mask, and as I go outside to do grocery shopping or whatever it is that I do, not very much these days, I will be wearing a mask. So you may not even see me out there, or you'll just see my eyes, and I'll send you love through my eyes. But I do uh, feel that that's a good move for everyone to take at this point for crushing that curve, bringing that curve down. And, uh, and that's all I have for science. The history I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I've been, I love this book, 1491, by Charles C. Mann. 1491 talks about the Americas before Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in, 1942, in 1492. And in this book is a tremendous amount of information about the traveling of pathogens throughout the Americas and how it changed the face of the Americas and the culture, there were millions and millions of people on these continents. They were very well established people and these pathogens changed their culture forever. Um, I don't wanna go too much into that because um, uh, there's a whole lot of sadness in this, but there's a whole lot of re re revelation. So if you need a good read and you kinda wanna have an understanding of you know, how pathogens have changed the the face of the globe take a look at the book 1491 by charles c mann i bought the book years ago and then finally listened to it on audible because there's a lot of information and i hear better than i see um so here's the deal guys um i want to talk to you today about temperance the number 14 in the major arcana card and temperance um I thought was a really good, has a really good lessons and a really good teachings in this card, the temperance. So temperance is about bringing many elements together to create something else. That's the, not the sum total of the elements, but it's the um, chemical um, energetics of these elements coming together to create something magnificent. So back in the once upon time days, the alchemists, as they discovered that the chemicals on the planet can be changed and some of them were malleable, um, they d began to quest, um, these are the Northern European guys, um, how can we change lead into gold? How can we do a base element, a base chemical, and change it into something magnificently beautiful like gold? Well, it wasn't necessarily logistically possible, but the um, metaphysical chemists 
took the concept of um, changing the leaden um, aspect of life, the heavy physical life, into gold, into the sun. So in the um, tarot deck, we have the sun as the great light. And that is what the temperance card talks about, how to blend the different aspects of our lives to create the sun, to, be, to come to our soul, to become to the brilliance of, the, of who we really are. So I was gonna. Sh I would like to show you what these different images from different decks are. Alistair Crowley has this um, deck called Toth, T H O T H, and his um, image is uh, very symbolic. He uses a lot of symbolism. He's a woman. Temperance card is generally, and I'll show you the the original card. Temperance is usually shown as a woman um, blending in elements from the earth um, and um, into. She usually has her foot in the river. Um, or, and there's a cup involved, and there's, you know, lots of energy involved in this card. And Toth really brings, Alistair Crowley in his Toth deck brings together the uh, the lion and the eagle, or his vision of power and vision and fire, and then the two of the duality of the, the minds thinking. And so the duality of the minds that need to come together to create a balanced, um, a balanced and connected force or energetic or thinking or perception that leads you into um, that transformation um, into the sun, into the gold. If uh, shamanism, shamanists, shamans teach that in order to, to have miraculous healing, we need to be aligned with ourselves, understand ourselves in a, in a source of a perfection, not to perfect ourselves, but to align ourselves and who we are and what we're doing with our soul and, and, and with God. And as we are aligned with God in our imperfection, we become perfect. And that's when we can make the changes in our life, miraculous healings uh, that are needed. The traditional um, temperance card in the tarot deck is an angel. And she's got two cups that she's just pouring elements back and forth, back and forth, which talks about duality. She's got her foot in the river, which is water, and the sun is in a background in, in a crown form to say this is this is the highest thinking this is the highest best and then the and the um her wings are red for for uh probably root chakra but also for transformation and brilliance and you can see that um the mountains in the back the two two peaks and the trail to understanding the two different under um polarities that we have within us that need to come together um and on john holland's um Psychic for the heart cards. I always mess up the titles, but uh, we, he ha he has the he has the illustration of a man and a woman in balance coming together. So two minds um, finding the value in each other and coming together to balance. This is a lot of a lot of my readings yesterday were relationship readings while people were sequestered together, and to uh, respect one another space, but also to learn about one another, remember what you've brought into the relationship and go back to basics on this so that um, you have a, the best uh, experience possible. So the other, um, this is the Wheel of Change, the tarot card of the Wheel of, uh, for the Wheel of Change in Life. This is the temperance card for, um, it's, a, it's a Native woman. Um, I, I guess we could assume it's a Native American, but I think we could take her um, into any indige in Native Indigenous Tribe. So there is the um, pot with the fire cooking away, and it's her nurturing, healing, sustenance. The rainbow is the wheel in this particular deck. is about the wheel of change, the, the going towards the future. And she carries in her hand water, and um, it looks like fire, but it also, to me, looks like grain. Uh, so she's bringing those elements, your fire and water, into the um, element of humanity to create something magnificent to create the sun to create realization enlightenment and then we finally come into the uh, another john holland deck called the psychic um, tarot this is patience so he perceives a balancing of time and patience to create what it is that you want to create to create what's needed to be created in um in whatever environment you are so she was so let me go back she's creating this plant this life form and very gently nurturing it and bringing um, in the colors of, of fire. I'm looking at her head, so it's a very cool, cool fire in her hat. And the water is in there, you can see that. These are represented in color. And then the green is, to me, the love, the heart energy. 
So why would I talk about temperance to you guys today? It's because what we, the energies that we have around us have become very clear, um, you know, as, as we're home or we're out in the front helping people um, with, the, with the medical workers, the caregivers, and then also the uh, providers who people, food and pharmacy and, and, and things like that. Um, and um, I, very sadly, I have to tell you the story. I did have to run to the grocery store. My fresh food was gone and I had to get some more and um, safely as I could. And I was in a line um, and the six foot tight marks, just like they said. And as I got to the checkout, there was a, this young man, 17, I don't think he was even 18, maybe 16, working at the, um, bagging my groceries. And then there was a young woman, also a teen, um, checking in my items. And the young man had taken his mask off and he was breathing. And he said, I'm sorry, I'm not sick. I just had to take my mask off because I can't breathe. And um, I felt so uh, compassion for him. I said, you're okay, you're safe, this is all right. Just breathe deep, you've got this, we've got this, we're all helping each other. And for me, um, I, I felt that there was an anxiety with him, almost to a panic point, and I felt that our exchange was so important, and to me, that was the symbolic exchange of what we need to bring to each other. It's all right, we've got this, we're doing this. It's all breathe, breathe deeply, bring in the breath of life, and, and stay in your best um, presence that you can in this time because um, here's the thing you know one of my um, one of my teacher uh, spiritual teacher people that I sat and listened to the other day said you know this is the age this time right now that we're all home and sequestered there are no experts there's only listening listening to our inner wisdom listening and observing um, you know the science of this listening and observing the communi community science of this and um, coming forward with an answer too soon could be detrimental. So let's just listen to what our inner selves are saying. Because when we come forward from all of this, there's gonna be a lot, there's still gonna be a lot more questions and a lot more wondering. And we're gonna also see, uh, we've had the experience now of seeing what isn't working in our lives in the big picture and what isn't working in our lives in the little picture. And these things need to be attended to. Well, we feel like we hit the pause button and we can't attend to several things. But what we can attend to, as I talk to, to you about the temperance card, is how we're blending our life's energy together to align with our soul and our soul's purpose and our soul's magnificence. You may go out there to the same job and the same people, but be a better person. Be a more aware person. Be a listening and observing person. And how are you blending the energies of life together in your life to create the best possible outcome? Now, I'd like to say that we could meditate, we could pray, and we could do this beautiful alchemical change within our soul and spirit, and then the COVID virus would go away, or we'll all suddenly become immune to it. And I just really wish that that was true, and so I'm going to put that out there that that's true, and I'm not going to argue with it, but I'm still going to wear a face mask, I'm still going to respect the science of it. But what I want us to do, and I'm calling the whole community to do, is let's do it better. We have a reset button here. We have a pause button, but right next to it is a reset button. So what are we gonna reset in our lives that to bring us to more of alignment to ourselves? When we're in alignment to our highest self, to our soul, to our creativity, um, we usually are aligned to a natural law of well-being and creating for the highest and best. We're not usually aligning to ourselves and, and what's what we desire and coming out with bad news, bad, you know, or bad behavior. Bad news and bad behavior is a, is a true indication that we are not aligned with our highest best. We are not aligned with our soul. So we, so those people who are, are struggling with that, I have to say, well, let's bring it back home, back to basics. What do you feel, what do you sense is in the highest best of yourself and the highest best of the people that you love and the highest best of what you came here to do which is generally in your bucket of desires and wishes and dreams. And how can you clarify that for yourself to be the most creative person that you can possibly be going forward from this point on? Um, it's a lot to be done here, a lot to be learned and a lot to be experienced. We don't have to all have the answers. As a friend of mine said when I was reading, doing lots of readings for people and feeling heartbroken because I, I couldn't fix anything for anybody, she said to me, Nancy, it's not about you having the answers, it's about your willingness to listen and your willingness to see and your willingness to help others to see. And that's what my work is right now for myself. Uh, I'm, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just as challenged as everybody else. I'm, I'm not gonna come out and say, oh, I've got the answers. I don't, but I have the willingness to work with spirit, to work with soul 
and to actually do soul retrievals within myself to say, what have I left behind in my life that makes me not have the full cup that I can blend with what's happening now to get that mir miraculous answer, to get that miraculous reveal, the, the surprise that's going to be amazing, that is amazing when we really blend with our soul. So there is some soul retrieval work, meaning that where I've been wounded, where you've been wounded, where you have left yourself behind because somebody's disappointed you or a situation didn't work out for your best even though you worked really, really hard on it and somebody betrayed you or the situation betrayed you. So you left that part of yourself behind Seeing that part is a useless. That part is the most precious part of yourself. Let's go back now, get, for those of us who are having nightmares at night, and retrieve that soul part that was left behind and embrace that soul part. Love it and gently bring it back home because now we have the quiet time to bring ourselves back home to ourselves. Um, and I also want to say those of you who are ill and not well, my heart and just my healing and my love and the best grace that I have around me goes out to you as I pray for all of you to um, to um, work through these illnesses, to work through the blending that you have. Um, there's a blending that we have physically. I re over and over here from the scientists says that this COVID virus, COVID-19, is because we have never, are physically, we've never seen it before. We don't have the antibodies or the immunization to fight this particular virus. And um, have, so this is a time of temperance. This is a time of alchemical combinations where our bodies learn how to live with and, and survive from this particular virus. Um, I also, from my um, shamanic viewpoint or my energetic viewpoint, I also feel like this virus brings to us a message. Um, everything in our lives bring us messages and we can either choose to take the messages and put them down the well or we can take the messages of the fear and the anxiety and the, the viruses and the illnesses and gently open them up and to say, what is your message? What is, your, what is it that you're telling me today? And um, what is it that I, how is my best way to respond? I always do it in sacred space with my angels and my guides and my spirit guides to um, help me to have a, a, the best relationship possible to the environment around me and, um, and turn it into gold. And so what is the relationship that we need to have with this virus, with, you know, to turn it into gold. What is the relationship that we need to have with the earth around us so that our relationship creates gold as opposed to creating waste? Um, and that, those are, what is our relationship with um, how we travel and how we eat and how, and how we create waste and how, what we do with the waste? That, um, what are we doing alchemically with those actions? And how are those actions creating gold or not creating gold, making more lead, which is poisonous to us, in our world and in our lives? These are all really good, like symbolic, but all really good internal questions to ask ourselves at this time. Because guess what? We have the time to do it. I mean, all of the binge TV watching in a row, I mean, seriously, at some point, we just got to get up and stretch and like, I got to use my brain. And, um, and so go outside if you can in your own backyard or in your own, um, find some nature in your space and just stand there um, as the seasons change and ask yourself to, to be aware, ask yourself, be aware of yourself, ask yourself to blend in with this nature and then ask nature, what is the best relationship? I, what is the relationship I've been creating and what is the best relationship I can create? Where am I in all this and what? as the, my, my best highest interest and the best highest interest of the people that I love for me to do at this time. Um, take the time, guys. We don't even get to uh, have time like this ever, right? Although I do notice that Facebook and uh, news and everything is bringing me uh, a lot of information that I mull over and I find that I need to put that aside and have my own thoughts. So put things aside and give yourself time to have your own thoughts. And I know some of you are home with kids. Oh my God, little kids or big kids. And um, they don't want to go to school online and you've got to reinforce that. And you're trying to work your job. So it seems like your life is way more hectic and less time in it. And I, my heart goes out to you guys. But I'd like to encourage you to have everyone in the family take a break. And just have your quiet time where you're just breathing. And you're just feeling and you're just feeling the miracle of breathing, you're feeling the miracle of looking at the sky and the sun and the light. You're looking at the miracle of life itself and just breathe it in. You don't have to have the answer, you just need to listen to your feelings, your thoughts, and be at peace for five minutes apiece.
a day. If you can do it a couple times a day, that'd be awesome. Um, that kind of thing. And um, there's a tremendous amount of meditations and things online. My meditation technique is to simply breathe and feel. Breathe and feel and then invite in your spirit to expand around you. Breathe and feel and observe. And then ask um, Mother Earth's healing, nurturing love to be around you. Breathe and feel and observe. And just let it all go. Father, Son's creative expansiveness, invite that to be present with you. Invite your angels and your loved ones to be present with you. And then let it go. Let the thoughts go and breathe and feel. Breathe and feel. Five minutes of just being at peace and calm with yourself. A couple of times a day is what my recommendation is. Um, sometimes I could do it for five minutes. Sometimes I could do it for a whole hour. Sometimes I fall asleep doing it, but that's another story. But I have these amazing dreams. If I just allow myself to breathe and feel and reconnect, these dreams are just coming on just amazingly. When be one of these days, I'll tell you one of my dreams. Um, I'm going to go to one of my dream experts and have her work with me on a couple of them. I'm like, whoa. Anyway. So back to what, why I came, just a little bit of a, of a commercial break, reminding you that I am extending this holistic fair, just private message me with a couple times and how much time you'd like to spend with me. Remember, it's $25 for 15 minute increments. And if you would like a mediumship spirit art drawing, let me know, and that's 45 minutes for, for $100. It's an amazing, amazing discount. I recommend the, to choose one of the 15 minute increments so that we can spend time to see where you are physically, mentally, emotionally in this time and so you can get the support that you need from soul, from spirits. Really not from me, it's from your soul. I'm just kind of bringing the information there from that place so that you may have um, some, um, some peace and something that you can bring into your meditation or something that you can bring into your daily thoughts and your daily struggles. Or you're, and maybe your days aren't struggles at all. Maybe you're having a grand old time, and I would be like, yay, good for you. Um, and so keep the joy up, but also keep the awareness of what brings you joy, what makes you happy. So thank you, everyone, for coming on. I, I think, hello, David and Maria and Mary, Sia, hello, Andrea and Maggie. Maggie, she's watching me from across the street. And um, Barbara and Deb and Emma and Valerie and just loving all of you guys coming in. So I think I will, um, what I'll do is for you guys, I will go ahead and pick, this is my um, chakra deck of what it is needed to be healed in this moment. So David, starting with you, um, I would like to pull the healing card for you and what needs for you to be looked at and healed in this moment. And that David, I get the sacral chakra card. It's orange. Um, we're talking about that chakra center that is below your navel. It's your creative center, also your sexual center, and you are at an impasse right now. And and that impasse, the pathway is, is closed a little bit so that you can take time to say, what's stopping me? What's the language of what's stopping me? And um, bullying me into doing something that I'm not quite, um, maybe it's grief that's stopping you. Maybe it's anger. Maybe it's expectation that others have for you. I don't know what it is. So spend some time and put your, you just put your hand on, just that below your belly button and just say, how you doing there, buddy? And um, what's, what's stopping me from being the best creative piece that I am, that I can? And just bring in love and the love from the universe, divine unconditional love to help you expand and know yourself. So M Maria, um, and my, a card that I want to pull for you. And these cards really, I just feels like I'm pointing them to people, but they're all, they're for everybody. These messages are for everybody. So Maria, as I pull the, what needs to be healed in this moment is confusion. And this confusion comes from, this is silver. It comes from your intuition, from your higher uh, crown chakra. And the confusion is I have so much information around me telling me things, telling me I'm not safe, telling me I'm not okay, telling me I need to do something different than I don't know what to do. And the confusion is, again, bring at peace to yourself. And that coldness, bring in Father, Son's yellow, golden white light down through you in a meditation and bring it right into your heart. And as you are quiet within yourself, the confusion will start to abate. The confusion will start to turn into what I really feel this way and I really would rather have this. And this is what brings me joy and um, and sit with that till it'll take time. So Mary Hunter, hi Mary. Um, so again, I'm pulling cards. This is, could be for you, could be for everyone. Take what, what helps you. But the healing kind that I'm getting is perfection. This is in your root chakra, Mary. The, the um, root chakra um, that 
it's the energy center that faces down into the earth is about survival. It's about life force energy and the desire for that for our lives to be perfect so that we can feel safe and sound. And the challenge for this is to the perfection again when we blend in with our our soul, with our spirit, with our higher soul, just as we are. That's where perfection is. Trying to control something and make it perfect so that we can be okay is a very uh, exhausting endeavor. So allow your root chakra energy, that survival life force energy, to really blend in with the higher life force of source, of God. And um, see what you can come up with then. Sia, hello, little card for Sia. And what is it that needs to be looked at or healed right now? So Sia, um, you also um, have a, a, a root, um, a root chakra issue of perfection and I, I need to know exactly what I need to know what to do so that when I do it it will work and be okay remember I said there's there are no um, experts right now there are simply questions and I feel that this is a beautiful message for you again in the root chakra area which is acceptance she's uh, got a bunch of bowl full of cherries and she's making a pie out of them accepting what exactly is happening around you and not struggling with it so much anymore as just what so what how can I make a pie out of this so acceptance and um, loving yourself as you are Andrea um, I'm or I don't know it's Andrea or Andrea I, I love both of those names so I want to pull a card for you and this is about vanity and I would not think of you as a, as a vain person but I also feel that I know that you're a very spiritual loving caring person you you bring healing wherever you go, but in this card, this vo this is the throat chakra. Um, again, I want to in invite with you the idea of your practice, your beautiful healing practice, is going undergoing shifts and changes. Again, it, we're, we are no longer experts; we are observers. We are we are questioning how can we best show up in this time for ourselves and for others, and what you perceived was the answer earlier. That perception is kind of crumbling for all of us. And go, but stay in the energy of the healing. Stay in that connection with soul. And you may find that you, what you're saying is a little bit different than what you thought you would ever be saying. Um, so, so let it go. And let source continue to inspire you to heal you and then bring you forward so that you could express some, your, your healing force um, differently and in a very powerful way. So Maggie's watching. Maggie, I just want to pull a card for you. And I, I know you've been a huge um, support to um, to your family who are who are front front end people people who are helping this you know us all stay intact. And um, you've been uh, I don't want to give you your personal information, but I I just am so in, in it. I have I never said this. I'm in admiration for for the support that you're giving to the people who are supporting us. And I pull this card. This is um, purple card gratitude. And um, for me, purple is the envisioning is, is, is that's, you know, here in uh, the clairvoyant, but the envisioning, the able to see what's around you, but not believe the story, but see beyond it and envision the, the truth, envision what's the future, envisions what's next, but you don't add up everything that's around you and make that the answer. Instead, you observe what's around you and say, all right, maybe that, but I see this. And I feel like... Um, Again, we have a lot of expectations and gratitude. Uh, I feel that you and your family, you kind of like a, the visionary in the family, or you see beyond the silliness and you get right down to the, 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 um, the glory of it, the good of it, the gold of it, uh, through your power to um, see um, beyond what's right in front of you. And I want to bring a lot of gratitude towards what you and your husband are doing. And I also want to bring a lot of gratitude to say you're in, you know, that you're in my life. I really appreciate that um, because you make me laugh every time I see you. And um, let's see, I want to pull a card for Barbara. And Barbara, um, Barbara, this is this is again the isolation. What a good card to pick for today for everyone. And um, I never understood the images on this card, but I feel that we're all you got your party duds all ready to go, but they're still hanging in the closet because you can't go anywhere. And I feel that blue, the ex it's so important still for you to express. Blue is the throat chakra. You have a lot of gifts to express, and you've been learning. You've got some training to do some of your work online, 
which I'm very excited. How, what a perfect timing for all that. And um, so that you have the opportunity to break the isolation through technology and still bring your voice, still bring your healing self and your presence. So your particles may be staying in the closet for a little while, but you, um, but your voice is getting out there. So as you feel that the, the emotions that we feel around being isolated, still want you to remember you can bring your best self force forward anytime that you choose. So Deb Lever, um, balance. Remember we talked about um, temperance earlier on. So this is about bringing balance into your into your situation. And I feel like when I look at this image, I see this one guy is in charge of. Um, he's got the white. He's got the white um, good guy outfit on, and he's trying. He's holding. He's got this huge burden of trying to bring all these people into balance who don't necessarily think alike. And I feel like that's the energy that you have around you. What is true balance? What is true nurturing the soul? If if the balance equals somebody not being nurtured or helped or cared for, then we don't have balance. And that is your, um, your message. That is what you're healing right now in your life. Emma, so here's another card for Emma, who I adore. Emma's really helped me come out um, into the public a little bit more. And Emma, this is green. This is the heart energy. Um, and this is this is the connection. You're a connector, Emma. It's, it's interesting that we come up with the word gossip, but I feel that Emma, um, you can tell amazing. You tell a beautiful story, and so I'm not saying that you are. Um, but this is not a value judgment on what you're doing. But I want you to be aware of as you tell your the position that you're in, and as you tell your story, I want you to um, and you you do this so well, and you're like a model to me. Empower people with the stories that you tell. Um, and you bring people together. This is kind of like the opposite of what you do, but this is the energy that you're working with. So sometimes as you work with people, you will see that you'll empower them and they'll start saying all kinds of stuff and you'll be like, oh, well, I don't know if that's the message that I intended to empower. But but, uh, but uh, your piece of as you connect people is also speaking up with, um, to, with those people to say, you know, I, I didn't mean to, to you know, I here's what I see you doing, here's what I see you're saying, and here's the impact that I'm seeing that that's happening. So I feel like you have that voice of both telling the story, empowering people, but also speaking to people about the, the truth that you see. Um, that might be very important um, for you to remember. Valerie, is a, what is need to be healed in this moment is, um, is this yellow mental energy dissipating. Um, this is a great card for um, what we're all going through now to for everybody, but dissipating, it's about sitting in front of, be, we're in a passive place, some of us, um, where we're just, the information's coming to us and we feel a little bit victimized and a little bit like, oh, I don't, what is this? Again, and I feel, Valerie, your challenge right now is to take the energy of the observer um, and not go into the, I'm frozen on my couch, I'm frozen in what here, there's nothing else there, and just really, again, remember we're, we're disseminating it. We're deciding what works for us and what doesn't work for us. And um, and and don't go into blank city, but go into, you have, um, you know, go into telling your story to bring life back in and energy back into where you're um, waiting for something to happen. So uh, stop waiting and start telling your story. You've got a lot of huge amount of mental energy that's very, um, that can be very um, inspiring. And I, uh, <clears throat> that's the energy that uh, many people need right now is like, well, I'm binge watching TV, but I need a little inspiration because I'm kind of getting bored. So um, Donna, um, what I'm pulling for you is perception from the heart. See the world from the from your heart. <clears throat> we have a lot of mental perception, a lot of stuff coming. So what brings you joy? What rings true to you is where you need to go. Um, and so the perception is everything. So if there's something, a thought, or, or an action that you're going to take because of a thought and you don't feel good about it, you it's anxious and you don't feel right about it, take a pause. And where is your perceptions telling you things as opposed to seeing, seeing things for what they truly are? Remember, the emperor sometimes wears no clothes and sometimes we're being told to believe the emperor's got it all going on. And if you see no clothes, girl... There's no clothes, believe it, all right? And then and then step back and find your emerald, find your wisdom, find your heart center that tells you what truly is happening. And that's true for, for all of us. So I see um, Donna and Nat Natza um, for you. I know you've, you were 
thank you for letting me pull a card for you guys and kind of in your business. Um, soulmate, not a soulmate. And what I really, um, and this is red again, it's, it's a, um, it's a base chakra card healing. So what I want you to, uh, what you're healing right now is your vision of what a partner in life would be for you, what a soulmate is for you. And I have to say, um, whoever you're with, I want you to see the gifts in the, the rela relationship of why your soul has chosen those people to be with you and what they're bringing to you and what they're bringing to you are bringing to them. So we often think our soulmate is a perfect connection that's going to every end. Um, we're going to have lots of good learning and it's going to flow. But a soulmate, I have to say you, a good soulmate makes, can make your life absolutely crazy and bring you to the depths of despair because your soulmate shows you who the heck you are. So pull in the, the soul, your soul, really in a meditation, pull in your soul and your healing and your balance within yourself and then see the people around you. And as you call in, if you're still calling in a partner, call in the partner that resonates with your soul and your soul path. And I, I feel like you're def redefining that in this time. Christine is watching. Christine, um... <clears throat> You lost my voice? I guess there's a bunch. You could get my voice back. <clears throat> Christine, the card that I'm pulling for you is mysticism, that purple, that envisioning that goes beyond. And um, being the, a minister, you know, spiritualist minister, I feel, Christine, um, this is where you're healing. This is where your work is, is to um, continue to go deeper into the messages from spirit. And I also feel, Christine, you have a lot of things to say. I, I know that you work a lot with White Eagle, and I would like for you um, to um, ask White Eagle to work with you and saying your voice, saying your things, because I could see a little book by Christine, Reverend Christine Nagel, it's wisdom or something like that. So ask for guidance to reveal your own, what your soul knows about this time. And Donna, Donna Marie, um, Donna, your time, your healing time, is about forgiveness. This is on a soul level. So those things that have been harsh and rough on you, it's time to snuggle up with them and kiss them on the nose and um, find out what's the deal here so that you can um, forgive so that you could create a, your new presence. You could create whatever you're holding on to is always reminding you that what your dream was didn't come true. So we want to do forgiveness and I want you to begin to dream again. And know that you, it's your dreams. You create them the way you want to create them. And Karen Patel, um, Karen, for you, I pull the bittersweet card. And this is, again, the um, we're getting a lot of voice chakras and a lot of root chakras, some sacral chakras. So can you see the theme today? What you say, what you speak is what you get. But where is your nurturing coming from? How are you using that connection with Mother Earth to support you so that you could express the best thing possible? Bittersweet is some of the things that you've been expressing and, and agreeing to and connecting to and creating through your relationship, eh, not all the sweetness in the world. Some of it's like a bitter pill. So what you that's where your healing is right now in this moment. So Karen and Dion, Thelwell, Dion, Instinct, Dion. This is, this is, you are really working on your instincts and your intuition and the group mentality. So this is where your healing is and this is where uh, you need to empower those instincts. And, and the silver is about intuition and up here in the moon. So in um, Stacy is rejection. You have a lot of be really cool ideas, Stacy, and um, and guess what? Some of them are gonna work, and some of them aren't gonna work. And this is your time to sort that one out. So it's not about you being rejected by others, which sometimes I think you perceive that that's the that that's what's going on. But it's you deciding what to accept and what to reject and what's not working. And that's coming from an intuitive level as well. And that's what you're working on in this time. And Anne is about wisdom green so now we're getting into the heart center here of things uh, so wisdom where's your wisdom what is your wisdom telling you these are kitchen counter wisdoms here and this is what um, I'm calling everyone to do is to find that wisdom place within yourself and uh, you are so welcome all of you just love you love you love you guys any comments you know if this if this stuff helps you or not let me know so I know that I'm not just talking to myself 
And also, um, remember, if you want to be part of the, this afternoon's, um, what time is it now? It's uh, 11.48, so we're going for noon. I already have a noon um, slot, so, so it will be kind of like after, I'd say, starting between 1 to 6. You know, pick some, some times there, and I will do my best to set you up and send you the information that you need. Thank you so, so much. I hope that these talks are inspirational to you guys. Remember, this is a time not just of sequestering and going within, but this is a reset time. So what are you resetting? And when we come out, what gold are you bringing out with you? So I'm looking forward to the big reveal, guys, whenever that time comes. Love you so much. And take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And love each other through the eyes. Through the eyes because we have to wear masks. Love each other through the eyes. All right? Love you guys. Bye-bye.